Welcome back to the YouTube channel. We are here at CG Cosmetics. So today we're gonna talk about a very touchy subject and that is complications due to breast augmentation surgery. And we are here today with Dr. Hunsaker for his advice. So what could you tell us a little bit about maybe some complications that we don't really talk about during breast augs? We talk about complications to the patients, of course, right? But uh, the good news is they're not that common. The bad news is you never know ahead of time who they're gonna happen to. Correct. One of the more common complications out of any of them that we might see is hematoma which is post-operative bleeding. That's bleeding in the space around the implant. It can happen for a variety of reasons. It can happen just because of a blood vessel that wasn't bleeding at the time of surgery, pops open and starts bleeding. It can be because maybe something too strenuous happened after surgery and the pressure rose, you know, and popped a little clot off the end of a vessel. And a patient will know they have a hematoma because that blood collects around the implant and it swells and it's uncomfortable and it can even really hurt. To treat that, you really do need to wash that old blood out, find any bleeding point if it's still bleeding, because very often when we go back in, it's already stopped. But you don't want to leave the blood in there. Not only is it uncomfortable, but it almost certainly you would develop a capsular contracture down the road because of that blood still being present in the pocket. So it does uh, mean an unplanned trip back, excuse me, an unplanned trip back to the operating room. Mm -hmm. It's typically a pretty straightforward procedure and there's a great deal of relief for the discomfort immediately after surgery. Are there any other complications that we should possibly know about post-op? Well, a very uncommon complication, but one that can happen is post-op infection of the implant. Okay. Very uncommon, but when it happens, it's a big problem for the patient. Not so much in terms of health and life, but Reality-wise, what needs to happen to cure that infection is the implant needs to be removed. Okay. And then that infection washed out, treated with antibiotics, drained, and the hard part, you can't put the implant back in. We know from experience that trying to treat that infection with antibiotics and the implant in place doesn't really work. The antibiotics don't reach the implant and get into the to the bacteria. And so typically you need to leave that implant out for three to four months before you replace it. You can replace it and everything's where you wanted it to be. It's just not the post-operative course you really wanted. We just know that if you put the implant in too soon, it's like this little hidden bacteria in there that'll ramp up again and you get a recurrent infection. Nobody wants that to keep prolonging the process. Correct. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Hunsaker, for joining us today and giving us a little bit of advice about post-op possible complications. We'll check you in the next video.